Yo, what up? Welcome to another video. This video is going to be a regular vlog for once. <laughs> like, it might not have to do anything with t-shirts. It might will. I don't know. It, it might not have to do anything with selling. I don't know, man. It's going to be my first time doing a regular vlog. I think it's going to be alright. I'm meeting up with my homie, Ink. He's a radio host at Hot 107.9 Atlanta. Basically, I need like some minor coaching in, in talking and speaking because I don't know how to do one take speaking. I don't know how to do any of that, but uh, he's a pro at it. And he's also come a long way in his journey and his career. So, um, like I said before, it's important to surround yourself by people who just, you know, want to succeed in life. And the position that he got is very, like, one of one. You know, I mean, there's only like a few spots like that, especially when it comes to being in a major city. So, um, I'm meeting up with a homie. I'm going to do like a quick interview with him, uh, ask him about like his journey and whatnot. And uh, hopefully I'm trying to trick him into getting some, uh, some, a little bit of coaching and whatnot. <laughs> and yes, I have a car seat in the GTR. My three-year-old loves getting taken to school in this car. So yeah, I'm in the city right now. I see two dudes walking around. They're doing like a shoot out here and uh i know i have a few car people who follows so i guess i can show y'all the car when i bought the car it was bone stock so right now it's full bolt-ons e85 i know only the car people is gonna know what i'm talking about so i got the cob access port maybe y'all just want to see the aesthetics I got wheels uh upgraded the purple calibers Carbon skirt. Oh, shoot, I just stepped in water. Carbon front lip. Carbon grill. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just got it ceramic coated, color corrected. Um, full exhaust. Down pipes, mid pipes. Injectors, intakes, uh, fuel pumps, flex fuel. Uh, I think that's about it. I'm pretty much at the point where I can do upgraded turbos, but I'll be playing with fire when it comes to the transmission. Um, so then I'd have to upgrade the trans and if I did that then I just want to go full build so uh, I'm pretty content with where is that I don't need to be the fastest guy on the block so to the wheels it's supposed to be like 6 650 to the wheels if you're looking at crank it's like 700 horsepower that's enough about the car so I'm gonna wait on the homie and I'll pick up from there okay here we are yeah here with Kun and Cardito <laughs> posted on the corner hey uh we are somewhere in ATLA NTAGA right now uh if you can see the background you probably don't know where we are but what we're doing right now is uh just talking about YouTube tutorials guys yeah, you on already yeah see? and uh yeah, man this already leading to what I was trying to ask you <laughs> okay what, what you got man you know we're talking entrepreneurship it's 2021 happy new year by the way <laughs> so this ain't even got nothing to do with you this was I was I was already talking to them. I was trying to tell them I was going to trick you and to coach me a little bit. Because you're so damn professional at speaking, I need help on that shit. You just picked up the camera and just started talking. Oh, it's fun, man. Especially <laughs> when you got viewers. Like, we have the greatest viewers watching us right now. So that's the best thing about it, man. You can have uh, any set of eyes out there watching, but when you got the best eyes... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so YouTube, man, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I got my own channel. My channel ain't talking about nothing. I promise you I can't get me three followers right now. Can, can I try? You can try. All right. Hey, can I get three people to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now? It's That Boy Inc. D-A-T-B-O-Y-I-N-C. That Boy Inc. D-A-T-B-O-Y-I-N-C. I just need three subscribers and I do radio. So the first three people to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm going to shout you out on the radio. Man, I don't even know how to interview you, bro. You the professional. No, what's up? What's <laughs> you, going on? You you might not be a professional on YouTube, but you, you a pro in the airways. Like, <laughs> I just want to know. Like, we kind of grew up together. We grew up yes. in the same city. Yes. You know me yes. since I was like... Over 15 years we know each other. When I was still in high school. Yeah, this is rare. This is rare. <laughs> this yeah. is rare. And yeah. now we're both in a major city. For sure, but for you sure. But you got a super special position. Yeah. Like, it's very... I wouldn't say one of one, but it's only like one of one in every city. How you love that? <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Like, how do you feel? That, like, let me see. So how do you think you had you kept that vision? Because I'm pretty sure at certain points in your life, you was like, damn, I'm never going to get that spot. Yeah. Uh, well, I just kept that vision by keeping the faith and believing, man. And like with anything, if you put the work in, you're going to get the result. That's why we're here on this YouTube channel now, you know, you put <laughs> the work in and then, you know, the viewers came and they're trying to educate themselves. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to do greater work than what we're set out to do. So it's just, man, just staying focused, staying on the grind and, you know, 
you're gonna have bad days, but the bad days come to make you appreciate the good days. Oh yeah. <laughs> but how'd like you that. know you had that skill though? Cause that that's that's a rare skill to find. You just like woke up talking one day. What's up, my name is E. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was I got fired. You got fired. <laughs> I got fired. So um, you know, like I was just saying, you got to earn everything. When something's given to you and something is earned, there's a difference. So uh, my first radio job was like given to me by Ontario Gates in Columbus at Foxy 105, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we were cool. You know, I used to call the radio station all the time. I was a fan of the radio, and just they'd be like, "Who's this?" I'm like, "Incognito, incognito, incognito." So then I went to a radio station show and introduced myself one day. It was like, "I'm incognito." He's like, "Oh, you're incognito. Hey, take my number. Let's you know network and build a relationship." So I'm like, "Oh." Okay, cool. We build a relationship, and then as we did that, he was like, "Hey, man, you got a radio voice. You ever thought about doing radio?" I was like, "Nah." And I'm in high school, right? Shaw High School, by the way. <laughs> and I'm like, "Nah." He was like, "Hey, man, I can get your job in radio if you want it." I'm like, "All right, cool." Did it. Got in there about three and a half years. Ended up getting fired. Then when I got fired, I was like, "What can I do? What can I do?" I done been backstage at all the shows. I never had to pay to get in the club. I, uh, this is uh, I'm living a different lifestyle. So I went to like civilian, and I was like. Oh no, I can't do anything. Prayed about it so much, needed some knee pads. Told God, I said, hey man, you give me another shot, I would do this the rest of my life. So I'm anointed to do it, man, to answer your question. Yeah, man, you're doing my job for me. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Kahn! Oh, did, I, did, I, did I say your real name? Yeah, it's cool, man. Okay, cool. They, they, See, they don't figure it out by now. Yeah, Kahn, <laughs> Kahn, Kahn, from rice to riches. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, but how'd you know you were passionate about it? Like, did you fall straight in love with it? As soon as, like, you just started speaking on the mic? How'd uh, you know you was good? Even pause. Even somebody else told you. Speaking Damn. on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm a people person, dog. You know, and, um... Shoot, I enjoy laughter, man, because, you know, laughter is, is treatment, and I enjoy music. You know, one thing about music, when it hits you, you feel no pain. So when you can just bring uh, laughter, that was Bob Marley, by the way. But when you can bring uh, music and laughter and entertainment and knowledge all in the same pot of gumbo, you can't lose, man. So that's all it's about. It's just, you know, passionate. It just organically flows. It's kind of like how we hooked up. Yeah. You know, you were doing flyers, right? Mm hmm And I was needed some flyers for a radio. And quality over quantity. You got to go where the quality is. So that's all. But I'm, I'm still working and grinding, man. I got a, a, a bigger vision. The best days are yet to come. So that's why I'm continuing to stay in contact with people like you. Because like I've been saying all the time that you know me, loyalty is everything. You know? <laughs> so, so that's that. So uh, what's your plans for this position? Where are you going to take it, man? Uh, we're going to grow in more states and more cities for sure uh we're going to be announcing some more states and cities pretty soon we are going to stay broadcasting from uh atl but we're going to you know take over the nation man and we're going to grow into some more media aspects and grow that youtube channel i just need me two more followers right now <laughs> that boy hey man Inc. i think you got it man i, think I just need two it. like d-a-t-b-o-y-i-n-c and and that's the same on instagram twitter snapchat tumblr you got tumblr I don't have Tumblr. Yeah, I got a Tumblr. That's old school right there, though. That was my Black Panther page. Uh, my MySpace was that boy, Inc. Uh, give me one of your old... First, what was your first social media site, bro? Mm, that was probably something before MySpace. For real? I was on Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> that was one called Asian Avenue, too. For real? Yeah. Asian Avenue. Anybody knew about Asian Avenue? Comment right now <laughs> if you know about Asian Avenue. I never heard about it. I'm going to go type that in my search to see if it still exists. Asian Avenue. Who know? I'm Somebody gonna see. about to go buy that domain right yeah. now. And if you find his page, <laughs> send it to me. Because <laughs> he You're forgot to be able to find it, bro. Asia Avenue. You did you, oh, so you used a uh, different username? No, nah, it was me. Okay. But okay. it was, man, I was probably in middle school or something, you know? I, I had to be you. like, are you over 18? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I told the story. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, bro. I feel you. Hey, this is a pretty cool car, man. Yeah, oh, thank you, man. This is rare. <laughs> this is rare. Have you guys ever rode in one of these? This is a rare car. I'm just going to say that. It's a GT Rare. And uh, it's super fast. He got it super geeked up in here. And he needs more than seatbelts. He needs a seatbelt to come from the left side and the right side <laughs> to strap you in. Because this is, this is oh, absurd. Man. I just, That's funny, man. They got a thing I told you to say all that because before you got here, I started recording. I was like, I'm going to just show you all the car because we ain't got nothing better to do. For real? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the car is lit. He didn't. None of this is planned, man. None of, none of this is planned. Oh, man. Organically, man. It's just totally off the top. So I'm going to ask you a question, man. What made you want to get into YouTube? Bro, I got... I got so burnt out doing what I was doing. I was just doing generic t-shirts, generic t-shirts, and you know me from my beginnings. Like, everything started from, like, being creative. Like, I was doing nightclub ads, but I only did it because 
you know, I didn't really care about the money. The money was always the byproduct. I did it because I wanted it to. Truly. Eventually, over time, I was like, I'm more addicted to like selling it. Uh -huh. So I had to transition. Now I'm getting into a life story. But eventually, I got into selling t-shirts because I was like, I can do that. Uh -huh. So I just started making t-shirts. I was making more money doing generic t-shirts, all that. And I kind of lost like my vision. I kind of lost like my creativity. So one day I just picked up the camera. It wasn't even on like doing t-shirts. It was just on some other stuff. And it got me back into, cause you know, I was doing music videos and wedding yes, videos. Yes, you were, great bit. ones, great ones. And I was like, I just enjoyed the editing. Mm -hmm. And then eventually I was like, man, I got to get back into time, what I'm doing now, into YouTube. So now I just started doing the brand. And I'm telling you, man, homies who support you, yeah. They they wear your brand because that was the first thing you did as soon as you saw a I said, something. where's my hoodie? I need my hoodie. I dapped them up. Hey, happy new year. Do you have my hoodie? I want my hoodie. And I'm going to take a picture and do a video on my YouTube page hey man, in the hoodie. Much, <laughs> so, hey, if you subscribe to my YouTube page, <laughs> you will see me with the hoodie on. I'm trying to tell you. This is so cool, man. Can I share this video on my YouTube page, too? Man, you do whatever you want, bro. All right, cool. This is <laughs> exclusive content, man. I just want to tell you guys out there, if you're watching this, man, hey, keep going. If somebody tell you no, no stands for next opportunity. <laughs> believe in yourself, man. And if you don't believe in yourself, how can anyone else believe in you? But, hey, continue to do your thing. I'm not going to preach to you. I just want you to smile. Can you smile? Smile. See that smile? <laughs> they smile look better than ours, though. They oh, smile was better than ours. Somebody's over there, I'm not gonna smile. I'm not gonna you made hey, me smile. Did we do it? <laughs> Did I do it? Hey, if you smile, write it in the comments, man. This is my dog Kun. I go by the name of Incognito. I'm on the radio Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. to midnight. Post it on the corner. If you're in ATL and you catch us in the streets, make sure you got your mask on and we'll take a picture. Peace. Yo, so that was good stuff, man. No lie. So inks make me for already feel more. I'm, I'm lying. I was about to say more confident speaking, but <laughs> man, he's a pro with it. But uh, me and him been homies for a long time. So hey, hey, like I said, hey, it's good to surround yourself by successful people, or people who just you know want to chase something greater than greater than themselves, man. And uh, right now I'm at Target. I got to use the restroom real quick, and then I'm about to meet up with one of my other homies, Vince, because. Uh, uh, like I said, people who support your brand. I also posted it online, and he also posted. Some, he uh, he also purchased something without, you know, me saying anything. And this was before the uh, Only Ninjas website. This was the Hustle Ninjas website. So um, I sent him a hoodie for Only Ninjas, uh, you know, because I was kind of working on it, see how it's gonna look like. And I sent it to him. So it's not on the website yet, but after I get these pictures, I can release it. So I'm about to get him a model of the hoodie for me. And I'm gonna take some pictures because I got my actual camera with me. So this should be good. Uh, I think the vlog is starting to turn out a little bit better than I thought. Let's go. It never fails. Traffic. Front K man. I don't know what I'm recording, y'all. Trying to do some B roll. Kevin. Hey, Richard. Thank you. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> oh, he's wearing my hoodie. Look. Can't see it. It's not zooming in fast. That's my little brother. He goes to Georgia Tech. He's like one of my biggest supporters, too. Thank you, Kevin. He likes wearing all my clothes. He's wearing uh, one of those Stay Hungry uh, hoodies. I had to drop something off. But off to my homie's house. All right, so I'm downtown on Piedmont. Across from Atlanta Civic Center, funny story. I used to live right across from there. I don't know if it's funny, but I used to live across from there. <laughs> I said funny story. Yo, so remember I was telling you guys where I lived? It was right here. <laughs> this apartment complex. That was like nine years ago. I had to park here in the gas parking. Somebody's gonna ding my car. Hi, Vince. Hi. Do you want to be in the vlog too, or just doing the most? <laughs> <laughs> doing the most. I mean, you can do me as a cameo. I'm cool with that. All right, that's all I put. <laughs>
So that was a success. It was only like a few photos, but it looked good. Is uh, if you, in case y'all wondering, it's cold. Hold on. In case y'all are wondering about the hoodie, I'm gonna post a video on it. But uh, it's metallic black on black. So I like that color scheme too, cause I'm, it's very subtle. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna head home now. Okay, so that was a quick little vlog for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It wasn't supposed to be about t-shirts. Ended up being about t-shirts. Met up with the homie Vince. Uh, like I said, he purchased uh, two t-shirts from Hustle Ninjas. I saw his name. Um, so I sent him a hoodie that I was working on for Only Ninjas. And um, I was in the city. I was like, hey man, let me hit up Vince. See if he's down to do some pictures. So we did the pictures. And he's also in the entertainment industry. Acting and all that. So he has access to the good camera gear. He owns a red camera. All that good stuff. I was like... Uh, we were chopping it up and I asked him if he wanted to do some more modeling and if he wanted to do like some video commercials and whatnot for Only Ninjas and he said okay. So uh, that's dope content for Only Ninjas. Um, remember, if you guys want to win a Cameo 4 and a heat press, all you got to do is go to OnlyNinjas.com, make a purchase. Every single dollar spent there is one entry into the giveaway. Also, um, I've realized every video that I make there's somebody new that's watching. So if you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Rich. I sell t-shirts online full time. Right now I'm scaling back on doing, basically most of my income came from doing generic t-shirts, happy uh, birthday shirts, happy Mother's Day type of t-shirts, all that type of stuff. Right now I'm kind of scaling it down so I can spend more time here on the channel. Uh, hopefully give some kind of value back, you know, showing you guys how to build a brand and all of that so if you just watch the videos I'm hoping you guys are taking value of this I hope you guys are enjoying this I hope this content is working for you all um, so cuz in a sense I'm kinda <laughs> I'm kinda taking a pay cut just to do this but I see more long term in this and, and I'm getting more fulfillment doing this it's, like I said uh, I think I said it with ink money is not the thing for me I'm very thankful to have made the money that I did uh, selling t-shirts so you know I made a good grip the end of last year that way I can invest in this channel hopefully the long-term uh, result of this channel and everything else that's gonna be going on will one day supplement it I don't know if it's soon but it's all good cuz man there's there's no better satisfaction than the fulfillment I'm getting from creating this content right now so if you enjoyed the video please comment like subscribe if you want to support the channel only ninjas.com um, that's it I'll see y'all next time hey hustle ninja thanks for watching Remember, if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand, be sure to check out OnlyNinjas.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay hustling.